Today's lesson is about frequency and accumulative frequency. Frequency means how often an event happens. Cumulative frequency means the total of a frequency and all frequencies below it. For example, this table shows the number of children in fifty families. How you figure out cumulative frequency? Cumulative means add them up, add what up, add a frequency up. Therefore, the first frequency you stay because nothing you can add up. Then from four, I add eighteen. That's twenty-two. From twenty-two, I add twelve. That's thirty-four. Thirty-four, I add ten. That's forty-four. Forty-four, I add four. That's forty-eight. Forty-eight, I add two. That's fifty. We call this is a cumulative frequency table. How to construct a cumulative frequency graph according to the given table? The number of total points scored in a season by players in a twenty-five player college basketball score were recorded in the table below. First of all, we need to figure out the cumulative frequency table. That's I call C F. First one is one. One add three. That's four. Four add seven. Eleven. Eleven add six. Seventeen. Seventeen add four. Twenty one. Twenty one add two. That's twenty three. Twenty three add one. Twenty four. You add one twenty five. We use a cumulative frequency table and also the number of season points given to construct this cumulative frequency graph. First of all, you need to set up the skill. This will be the x. This is will be the y. For x is from zero to eight hundred, so you can see this is a zero. Here is a one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five, six, seven, eight. Then check the y. All together, I need a twenty-five. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's suppose you have twenty five, so I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't have to label like one, two, three, four. You can just label from five, ten, fifteen, twenty. It's very clear to see. So I will do that. I will see the five, one, two, three, four, five. It's here. I label as five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's here. Fourteen, Then it's time for you to sketch this cumulative frequency graph. Let's cross this out. We don't use this number. We use a cumulative frequency number. Remember, for cumulative frequency graph, the y value always gets started from zero. So I have this is a zero. So I have a zero zero. That's how you get started. So zero zero here. Then for one hundred, I use this number. That's one. So go here. I connect these two. Then for two hundred, I go to use this number four. Two hundred. That's four. It's here. So I connect 
this one. And uh, for 300, you go to user 11. It's uh, here. And uh, for 400, you go to user 17. Just draw the line between those two points. For 500, I draw that's a 21. For 600, I draw 23. Seven hundred, that's twenty-four, and then eight hundred, that's twenty-five. So I just connect uh, these uh, points. We call this graph a uh, cumulative of frequency graph. Now let's construct uh, one more. We are given this uh, histogram, and uh from this histogram, you could uh, figure out the frequency. So this is two, three, five. Here's a six, ten, twelve. Here's a nine. This one is a two. Here's one. After you figure out the frequency, then we need to draw a frequency and also the cumulative frequency table. So we have uh, from, uh, I put the X between 0 to 50. But this time you need to be careful. This is the get study from 51 to 60, which means uh, from 0 to 50, this is you have equal sign, that's the frequency, that's 2. Then when you set up the table, I still I do the 50, but no equal sign, I go to 60. Then here is a, I will get start from 60 to 70. Then from 70, then keep going. After I finish this uh, x value, then I go to the frequency. So we have uh, 3, 5, 6, 10, 12, 9, 2, 1. Then I'm working on the cumulative frequency table. 2 here. Adding 3, that's 5. Adding 5 is 10. 10 add 6 is 16. 16 add 10, that's 26. 26 add 12, 38. 38 add 9, 47. 47 add 2, that's 49. Add 1 will be 50. Now, according to this um, table, cumulative frequency table, I need to cross this out. So when I draw this graph, it won't be affected by this uh, frequency. Before you sketch the graph, you have to set up the skill. So for x, that's from 0 to 130. So I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's working. I can do each unit uh, is 10. So I have um, 0 here, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a 50. I need a 60 here, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. For y-axis, this is a 50. 
I can set up、uh, each、um, unit stand for two, so I can label as two, four, six,、uh, eight, ten. Two, four, six,、uh, eight,、uh, ten. So here's twenty. Two, four, six, eight,、uh, ten. It's a thirty. Two, four, six, eight, ten, forty. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Here's a fifty. Now they get started from zero, so we do zero, zero. That's the first point. Then fifty, I look for this two. Two is here. Each unit stand for the two. So for sixty, I'm do five. Sixty is five. It's here. Seventy, that will be ten. This point. For eighty, I do sixteen. It's here. Ninety, I will do twenty six. One hundred, I will do thirty eight. One ten, forty seven. One twenty, that's a forty nine. Then one thirty is a fifty. It's here. Then you need to connect all these、uh, point. That's it. What if you are given a cumulative frequency graph? How you figure out、uh, the median and the first quartile or the interquartile range? The time taken to complete the test is displayed on the cumulative frequency graph below. Estimate the median. Time of a test completion. Remember, for the cumulative frequency, I have zero to one hundred. Half of this cumulative frequency will be median. So, zero plus one hundred, you divide by two. That's fifty. I will get a fifty here. From fifty, I will draw a horizontal line to cross this. Graph. Then I go down. It goes to twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight point five. Then estimate the number of students that spend. At least thirty minutes on the test. At least thirty minutes. So I need to figure out thirty minutes here. I will draw vertical line to intersect the graph. Then draw horizontal line to figure out cumulative frequency. Number is a sixty, but sixty students they will spend. Less than thirty minutes. Less than thirty minutes on the test. At least thirty minutes. That means one hundred 
subtract sixty. That's forty students. They spend at least thirty minutes. So answer will be forty. Calculate the interquartile range. That equals the third quartile minus the first quartile. So we need to figure out the first quartile and the third quartile first. We know this fifty is a median. From zero to fifty, we need a twenty-five. Twenty-five is here. That's the first quartile. And from fifty to one hundred, I need a seventy-five. It's here. That's the third quartile. Then you need to figure out the time. So we do this. Going down, this will be twenty-two for. Third quartile, I will do the same thing. It will go down. It's a thirty-three. So we have thirty-three minus twenty-two. That equals eleven. In other words, for the first quartile and then the median, the third quartile. You will divide the y-axis into four parts. Then you intersect the graph or figure out that corresponding x value. For number four, percentage of students who complete the test less than fifteen minutes, we will find the fifteen minutes here. Then still. Vertical line cross to find like how many students. That will be eight. Which means eight students spent less than fifteen minutes on the test. We need a percentage. Altogether, we have one hundred people. So eight over one hundred. That will be eight percent. Also, we're looking for percentage of students. Who complete the test more than forty minutes? So find the forty-first. Go here. You will find the ninety. So more than forty minutes is only from here to here. That means only ten students. Spend more than forty minutes on the test, because from one hundred to ninety, that is、uh, ten people. Ten people divided by one hundred total one. That's a ten percent.